On the screen, a pair of binoculars. In one lens the text, White Cane Coffee. In the second lens, a picture of the White Cane Coffee Shop. Just under the second lens. Text, Overlooked. A man in a collared shirt, a beard, and eyeglasses, stands in front of a rack of packaged coffee. Hi, my name is Bob Wilman. I'm with White Cane Coffee, located here in Warren, Pennsylvania. Um, White Cane Coffee was formed um, to provide jobs for the blind and disabled in our community. A group of three photos. One, Aaron with dark glasses and headphones at a local festival selling White Cane Coffee. Two, Aaron on the cover of Global Business Leader magazine, White Cane Coffee, changing the world with coffee and love. Three, White Cane Coffee new storefront location. Um, it was our daughter's uh, vision to create something that would uh, provide opportunities, independence and inclusion um, for people who are like her. With Aaron being blind, probably the most difficult part she saw in life when she went to look for work was that people saw her white cane, they never saw her. As you know, say, if you can't find a job, create a job. But not only did she create a job for herself, but she envisioned creating a job for people just like her. A woman with eyeglasses and her hair in a long ponytail stands in front of a rack of packaged coffee selections. Hi, I'm Vicki Wilman. I'm the production manager at White Cane Coffee. Erin is my daughter. And my job is to help our employees do their job. Um, problem solving has always been part of my, my gift, I guess. Vicki pins a microphone on a female employee in front of a rack of packaged coffee selections and having children with disabilities, that's something that you learn to adapt to very quickly. Um, I have also am the one who's responsible for putting the braille on our labels. Um, we thought that was really important. Erin thought that was something that was really something we had to do for, for her community. A young woman, petite in stature, brown hair, stands with her hands behind her back in front of a rack of packaged coffee selections. My name is Kaylee. How long have you been working here, Kaylee? Um, almost two years. Um, label K-Cups. You label K-Cups? Okay. Do you do a lot of those? Yes. Kaylee turns towards the camera, making a peace sign and smiling. As two male colleagues, in the background work at the K-Cup production station, the, the key here is, is we have found is we believe everyone has value and everyone has worth. Job provides more than just a paycheck. It provides community and um, that connectivity of, of other people. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Skeets. A tall male in his 20s, brown hair and glasses stands in front of a rack of packaged coffee selections. I've been working here for two and a half years. I grind coffee. I... Jeffrey pouring coffee beans into an industrial coffee grinder. Two employees, side by side at the K-Cup production counter. Um, package the coffee into um, K-Cups, into one-pounders, okay. into two-pounders. What I like about White King Coffee, people to pay them a living wage, to give, let them be a part of that community. You know, White King Coffee is multifaceted in that. It wasn't just a job. It's, wow. it's an ideal. Two employees, side by side at the K-Cup production counter. A husky male with brown hair, goat tea, and an infectious smile. I'm Ben Wilman, I'm Aaron's older brother, and I help with the K-Cups here at White King Coffee. Okay, and what do you like most about your job here at White King Coffee? Well, I make sure, well, I like making sure the K-Cups are set up right, and uh, making sure they're ready to go. Now, Ben, I could have sworn that when I asked you earlier... Uh, that and break a... time. Oh, that that's, what that's what we wanted to hear. <laughs> so you like break time. It sounds like you're the average American that loves going to work and loves to go on break. Pretty much. All right. Is, is there anything that maybe I have not asked that you would want to share or get the audience to take away from this interview? 
there should be a white cane coffee in every community. Wherever there are disabled people, there should be an, an opportunity for employment. And if that is white cane, then, it should, then why not? It's revolutionary because people are finally seeing disabled people as people, which shocked people are people. But for some reason, so many people don't see it that way. And so bringing white cane as far or as wide as we can will help more people be seen as people. An image of the white cane coffee bus, a mobile coffee shop. Text on bus, providing jobs for the blind and disabled. An array of menus at the order window. This has been a Blind Muse Foundation production. A registered 501c3 nonprofit. Your generous donations make it possible for us to continue sharing, empowering stories of inclusion at work. You can find us at linktree forward slash blind muse. Thank you.